Hi everyone, welcome to this video on probability. It's the fourth one and we're looking at the topic of Venn diagrams and set notation. Um, hopefully you've seen the others and they've been useful to you. Specifically, we're looking at uh, Unit 40, and this one's going to cover this section here, Venn Diagrams and Set Notation. I am planning on doing a quiz later on, um, maybe after Easter, uh, on these units. So hopefully you'll be able to go back, look over the videos, and refresh any skills that you need before the quiz. I'm going to do it slightly differently this week. Um, because Venn Diagrams and Set Notation is such a big one, um, I'm going to set everything in one go. So on class charts, you'll see um, the work for the week. This video, obviously, if you're watching it, is one of them. Um, you've got a worksheet attached to class charts. You've got questions in Dr. Frost math, Maths to have a go. Uh, we've got another couple of videos from some other brilliant people online on Corbett Maths talking about uh, Venn diagrams and set notation as well. Um, so lots to do. Uh, of course, we're also going to do our starter videos all week as well. OK, so first thing for you to try, um, if you can draw this out in your book, so a, a typical Venn diagram, we've got even numbers, we've got square numbers, and it says sort the numbers 1 to 10 into the Venn diagram. So you can pause the video now and have a go. The second part that says uh, write down the numbers in A and then this symbol and B with a dash, uh, by the end of the video, we'll know what that means. OK, so your numbers then, uh, we start putting them in one at a time. One's a square number, so it goes in here. It doesn't go in the um, overlapping section, so it's not also even. Two is even, but not square, so it literally just lives here. Three is neither even or square, so living on the outside. Four is both even and square, so it goes in the crossover section. Five, neither even or square. 6 is even but not square, 7 is not even and not square, 8 is even but not square, 9 is square but not even, and 10 is even but not square. Okay, so hopefully you've done that and you got that first bit right. If not, just watch the video again, rewind it, watch this little bit. Um, and make sure you get this bit right first. Um, in terms of the sections, we're going to look at this in more detail next. So when we've done um, a question like this, the first one, there's all kinds of things that you might be asked. This is a very typical GCSE style question. Um, you might be asked to list members of a particular set, uh, in which case the notation uh, is going to be really important. You might be asked to choose uh, to work out the probability of choosing something from a particular group. And there was a question like this on the mocks um, that we didn't do particularly well on as a group, but fair enough because it's not been taught yet. Um, and there's all kinds of uh, fancy notation about this. And again, I heard people coming out of the mocks asking about what do the uh, U and the upside down U, what do they mean? So we're going to look at that now. OK, so in terms of describing these uh, sections of the Venn diagram, this little bit here, uh, it, I, I talked about it before as being the crossover. The technical word for it is the intersection. And we use this symbol. And we're talking about it being and. Now, when I learned this, I remembered that the N in and looked a little bit like this symbol here. And so this is A and B, the section that is in both A and in B. The union, so the bit that's or, A or B, also includes this little bit where you can have both A and B. So if it's in A or it's in B, it is this whole section here. Don't get confused and think because it's in both, it can't be um, in the uh, in the union. Or mathematical or also includes and. And finally, the dash symbol is about the complement, and it's 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 kind of like saying not. So not in a. So everything here that's not in a. Remember the outside section as well, the universal set. Um, your Venn diagram always has to have a box around it. If we're not in A, it doesn't mean that you're just in B. You could be not in B as well. Okay, so this purple section is all not A. 
At this point, you'd need to um, get these drawn out in your book. If not at this video, then one of the other videos that I'm asking you to watch. These uh, diagrams are absolutely critical for your understanding. So please make sure you've drawn them out. Okay, um, at this point, I think it'd be worthwhile you having a go. Um, there is a worksheet attached, so you can give a, a go from there. Um, you might want to watch the Corbett Math video first. Um, or you might want to uh, watch some of the work on Dr. Frost, either of those. But this week, the worksheet needs doing, the Dr. Frost uh, work needs doing. So hopefully you will be able to give it a go. Uh, read the questions really carefully. Look back at the notation. If you've got a revision guide, um, get your revision guide out as well and look at Venn diagrams and set notation there. Okay, and then uh, said at the beginning, um, one of the questions we were looking at is this, this A or not B. So writing down the numbers that are in A or not B. So if it's in A, we've got these, well, well in fact, all of these are in A. I'm skipping ahead a touch here. So all of these numbers are in A or not in B. Well, this one's in B, so I can't have that one. But these are not in B. So in terms of my list of numbers, we can have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, because they're not, um, they're in A, or not in B. That's these three. Okay, so notice that we are missing out 1 and 9, because they are the numbers that are in B. Okay, so like I say, lots to do this week. Make sure you've given it a really good go. Um, keep in touch, get in touch on, on email. Um, make sure you're looking at your class charts regularly. There's going to be starter videos for the four lessons of the week. Um, but otherwise, everything else is on class charts. Stay safe, get in touch if you need anything, and hopefully see you soon. Bye.